Family planning three funerals tonight. All new on 11 at 11. We're learning more about those who were killed in this head on crash in Fort Wright. Evan Millward explains how a small northern Kentucky community is feeling the loss. It's going to be hard for several families to drive on Highland Pike again. Glory Roden's neighbor remembers seeing the news and saying, I hope I don't know them. As people need to know it just she's just not a name. Gloria was in an accident. Here's what Gloria, what kind of life she led. Stand on Ken Ellis's front porch and just ask. He'll tell you the kind of life Gloria Roden led. You missed a wonderful lady. She was a, uh, a beautiful woman. She was a very uh, heartfelt woman. Roden was in the passenger seat, her sister behind the wheel, brother-in-law in back when their car was hit head on on Highland Pike Tuesday. Aunt B, that's Gloria. She was that kind of a, a, a woman. Um, to help anybody out, always stop and talk. The kind with a treat for the neighbor dog who fought her cats and who kept going back to read to those in her late husband's nursing home. Ellis says his heart breaks for her son. He knows everything that I just said, that she's just a wonderful person and she'll be missed and he'll see her again sooner or later. The coroner will have to do an autopsy on Kenneth Hartsock to see what caused him to drive erratically, how witnesses described it. I've come home and I still think she's going to be there, saying hi. And maybe we can learn something, not by how they died, but how they lived. And if everyone's like that, in Ludlow, what a wonderful world it would be. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.